Good morning vlog. Today I'm facing the inevitable reality of cleaning my apartment. I just, I'm tired of walking on the sticky floors because you know like enough times when you cook on the stove and it like spatters which is gross but like it happens you know the floor gets like sticky you gotta clean it every once in a while and today I'm going to clean everything because it's not just the floor like the counters are messy, my room is literally like a hurricane zone. Like, Hurricane Michael didn't come through Orlando, but it went through my bedroom. Cause... But that's ending today. Today we are going to actually make it nice. And I think the main reason that it hasn't been nice yet, because if I have a place to like put things, then it's easy. You know, it's easier to put things back in their place. But the, I never reorganized my desk when I came back from the summer because before I left, it was like things had just been thrown on there. So when I took all of my like makeup and stuff with me for the summer, now I have like no place to put it because my desk is a mess. So I'm, I'm going to hopefully organize that today. Every time we cook in our oven, it smells like stuff is burning, obviously, because something like tripped on the bottom of the oven. Now, I'm not sure, like, it has a clean oven button, or like self-clean button, but like, do you just press it and then it like burns off whatever is on there? That's what I don't know. So I'm gonna do what every young adult who is learning to adult does and call my mom. So, looking at it, it's not that bad. You know, you can see the stuff burnt on the bottom. And my mom's main concern before I turn on the self-clean was getting all of these little crumbs out. So I'm going to try to use like a wet paper towel and see how that works. Okay. I feel confident in the amount that I have clean the inside of the oven myself so I think this locks it right okay and then you can turn off the light and self-clean start does this mean it's gonna take four hours well the oven's locked so hopefully that does something so the next thing I need to tackle is this stovetop. As you can see, it's kind of a mess. And one of the things that I've heard you can do is you can, or I've tried it before as well, is you can make a sort of like paste with lemon and lemon juice and baking soda. I have lemon juice and, or I have lemons and baking soda. So we're gonna try this. Also, around 1 o'clock, I have to bring Saki to the bank, so we'll have that trip as well. So I'm just going to kind of put it where the bad parts are. My understanding of this is you, like, make the paste, and then you kind of, like, rub it in and scrape it off, which doesn't sound too pleasant, but this is what we're going to try. Nobody really uses this burner, so there's nothing wrong with that one. I know this is really cringy that I'm like not using a cutting board and I'm literally just cutting it on the stovetop, but the stovetop's a mess anyways, so it has other problems to deal with. Um, okay, so I have my spoon, my lemon, I have this little pampered chef scraper thing that my mom sent with me and all of our other stuff.
And I also have one of these things that I literally haven't used in forever. That might help. So I'm going to try to mix this up. We're just going to go one section at a time. Now I'm going to take my scraper. You know, I really don't feel like it's doing much at this moment in time. I might need to let it sit. So I'm going to try to get the mixture back over the panels a bit. See if I can let it sit there. Because um, the texture that was on the stove definitely isn't gone. And that was the goal. So let's, let's make the mixture on this side. And then we'll move on to something else. So we're going to let that sit for a while. While we do that, I'm going to turn off the camera for a minute, clean up the last few dishes, put those away, find somewhere to put these oven racks. Um, and then I'll probably turn the camera back on and do a little like montage of me cleaning the counters because why not? So when I turn the oven on self-clean, I figured, you know, it's going to get hot, burn all the stuff out. I didn't really expect the stove top, stove top to get so hot. The paste idea, um, kind of backfired at this point. I'll probably have to try something new, which I don't know how that's going to go. I'll probably have to get like a specific product for stove tops. Not really sure, but right now I'm not looking too great. Kind of really embarrassed, but I'm going to have to fix this once we get back from dance tonight. I'll show you guys now, please. Just my intentions were good. I didn't think the stove top was going to get hot. It has worked before, but now I tried to clean it up once I realized the stove top was getting hot. And that just spread it thinner and made the layer worse. And it's literally like hot to the touch everywhere. So, and it doesn't even have the like light on that's supposed to be on when it's hot. But you know, this is going to be something we do with later. Um, so the counters are all clean. I just have to put that stuff away and now I'm going to clean the floors up. So I just finished the floors and the apartment is like empty because I had to move everything. But now it's time to bring Saki to the bank. So. We're going to get our stuff and head over there, and then when I get back, I'll put everything back and get ready for dance, and then I guess my room will be tackled tonight. I just got back from bringing Saki to the bank. It doesn't seem like our apartment has burned down. I'm working on putting things back in place, and then after that, I'm going to have some lunch because, you know, a normal person would probably keep cleaning to get it all done but I need to decompress because I'm really stressed out that I've ruined our stove. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sure I didn't, but I'm sure there's some way I can save it. Sorry, I'm holding the camera so off right now. I was just carrying this chair out here. Um, I'm sure there's some way I can save it. It just like looks so bad and I feel so bad. And see like, it's all getting like crusty and stuff. It's not as hot as it was. I, you can like pick it off. My mom said that maybe I'll get like a knife scraper or something. Like we have one at home, but it's literally like I googled it and it goes up to 880 degrees or something. So I have the vent on the microwave on because I don't want there to be a fire and I feel, I don't know, it's just like weird logic that I had. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have some lunch and get ready for dance and then go pick up Saki whenever she's done. She had an appointment at 1.30, but you know, they take you when they're done with the appointment or they're, when they're done with the people before you. So she isn't in yet and it's like 1.50 and she has to be back at dance for three, so... I'm sure she'll be fine. If not, I'll just pick her up at like 2.40. Okay, that's all for now. So I just got back from dance and I look like a 13 year old boy, but whatever. Um, Mia's mom cleaned the stovetop for me. 
which was so nice. It is no longer destroyed. I feel much better. She said it wasn't that difficult, and I'm really glad that I did not accidentally ruin the stove while I was trying to clean it. So, the next mess to tackle is this one, which should be like fine because it's mostly just putting away laundry and then like sorting out those letters and then putting my makeup on the table and clearing off all the stuff that's on the table. And then over here is fine. So, I'm gonna shower and all that fun stuff. I'm the only one home tonight, so. Hello. Um, so instead of cleaning like I said I was going to, I've been sitting here for two hours watching Impractical Jokers on the floor. I literally moved from my bed to the floor because I was on the way to go clean the bathroom and I got lazy. Like, so I don't know if it's like something about, like, being home alone, the hallways are like louder, or if I'm just literally like hearing things, but I live on the top floor, and I keep hearing footsteps, and I, I can't not be hearing this, because it keep, it's been happening for like two out for like a while, since, since I got home pretty much, and I, it sounds like either people are like walking upstairs, or like literally in my living room, and I'm the only one here, like I said, and every once in a while, it sounds like someone's opening and closing a door, like, not in the same apartment, like, if the person across the hall was. But it's constant, like, there can't be someone walking through the hallway that much. Like, what the heck is going on? Why am I hearing this? I don't like it. I really don't like scary things, like, especially when I'm home alone and it's, like, Halloween season. Um.